We are going to be testing a 55-year-old woman on the Neurocom Smart Equitest. We're going to be performing three tests of balance and stability called computerized dynamic posturography that includes the sensory organization test, the motor control test, and the adaptation test. So we put a harness on um, Mary here, and she's going to be um, strapped into the uh, system to prevent falls. Okay, so come on up here, climb on up. Once we have her strapped in, we like to see that the carabiner, this metal ring, is sitting about at the level of her shoulder. So the strap is um, taut, but it's not so tight that it's going to catch her when she um, is just swaying back and forth. Okay? All right, now we need to position her feet. So Mary, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you put this ankle bone here on that wide black line there. Good. And this one too. All the way up on the black line, good. Stay right there for me just a second. We're going to choose the tests that she's going to perform today on this menu. From the main menu, I'm choosing dynamic conditions, choosing assessment, which is going to bring me into my test menu. All right. And of the assessments available in my dynamic system, I'm going to choose sensory organization test, the motor control test, and the adaptation test in that order. All right, click on continue. Now it's going to, the system is going to tell me exactly where I need to have my patient's feet positioned on the force plate. She needs to have her medial malleolus in the center, aligned with the center line, and the lateral part of the heel, the calcaneus bone, to the M line for her height, medium height. So I've got her so that her lateral part of her calcaneus is about at the M line, and the medial part of her heel is at that wide black line. All right? Scoot forward just a little bit for me here. Good. So, Mary, we're going to um, be performing a test that has six conditions. I'm going to let you turn this on for just a second and show her what the test is all about. Um, you're going to have six conditions in this system. Um, you get three little tests of each condition. Sometimes I'll have your eyes open. Sometimes I'll have you close your eyes. On some of the conditions, the walls are going to move, and on some of the conditions, the floor is going to move. So I'm going to tell you what's going to happen every step of the way, um, but you don't get any feedback from this. I'm going to have you turn this off, okay? okay? Each test is 20 seconds long. During that 20-second test, you get to stand as steady as possible. No fidgeting, no nothing, okay? In between the tests, you can move a little bit. So here we go. The first test is very easy. You're going to stand quietly with your eyes open. Now, I've got her set back. I'm going to check her feet because um, the center of gravity alignment is slightly off. So I'm going to come back and check her feet. Scoop forward just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And same thing here. Yeah, you can display. Great. And, and move this heel out a little. Great. All right, and she can splay her feet a little bit for comfort. All right, stand in the straight, arms relaxed. No, you don't have to worry about vision right now. You're going to keep your eyes open and testing. So stand really steady for 20 seconds. So on this condition, she's standing quietly with her eyes open. So she's got all three sensory systems available for balance. She's got vision available somatosensory information from her feet and stable information from her inner ear. Okay, that's one. You're not, okay, and then we're going to do two more just like that. You ready? And testing. So we anticipate that somebody standing in this type of sensory condition where all their systems are available for balance, their nervous system would automatically default to using somatosensory information in the feet and the ankles. Okay, that's three. And I get feedback right away, but the client cannot see that. One more time, just like that. Testing now. Good start. 
All right, now you get to do the same thing with your eyes closed. So I'm going to tell you when to close your eyes and when it's okay to open them. You keep your eyes closed the whole time. Ready? Close your eyes and testing. Okay, so now she's standing on a firm surface with her eyes closed. So we've eliminated vision. She still has the feeling in her feet and ankles to use for postural control and balance. And she still has the inner ear function for balance. Open. Okay, get ready. We're going to do it two more times. Close your eyes and testing. All right, now normally in this condition, we expect that people will default, their nervous system will automatically use the feeling in the foot and ankle for balance. And then vestibular comes in second. So it's expected there's a slight, slight bit more sway, but not very much because somatosensory is still the primary system. Open. All right, doing good. One more time. Close your eyes and testing. Very good. Open. All right, now you get to keep your eyes open, and this time the walls might be moving. All right, so your job is to stay steady even if the walls are moving. Get ready. Eyes are open. Stand steady. Starting now. There is a strap on the back of the harness here. There's a handle in case the person starts to lose their balance. I can assist in some way. Um, or catch them in case they're falling. Nice. You okay? Fine. All right. You get two more just like that. Get ready and testing. The other thing we look at here under these conditions where the floor is not moving, this, that's two. Get ready, you got one more. Testing now. If we want to see that because she's not challenged a lot with her balance, that she's m swaying, making little adjustments with balance over her ankles. She's not using a lot of excessive movement to maintain her balance. That, that would be normal in this condition. Good. You all right? Looking good. All right, you get to keep your eyes open now, but this time the floor might move underneath you. All right, so your job is to stay steady even when the floor is moving. Get ready and testing. All right, so. We're looking for her ability to stand steady even without accurate information from her feet and ankles. That's one. You okay? Yeah. All right. Same thing again, starting now. So if we disadvantage the floor by making it a little bit unsteady, she has her eyes open and her inner ear is still functional. If it's, there's no pathology, she should be able to use vision very strongly for balance. Um, and then secondary system would be vestibular. Very good. You're looking good. You got one more just like that. Testing now. All right. And then we don't typically tell the clients how the floor is moving or how the walls are moving, but when she sways, that's what causes the floor to sway. So it's actually going to move with her. Um, when she's swaying so she doesn't get any feedback from the visual system or the ankles, the somatosensory in the ankles. All right, you have two more tests in this um, machine here on this particular one. The next one, you're going to have your eyes closed and the floor is going to move underneath you. All right? <coughs> Excuse me. So you um, keep your eyes closed the whole time. If you have to open them for any reason, you let me know because I need to stop the test. Ready? Close your eyes and testing. Now what we've done is we've disadvantaged somatosensory system by moving the floor, eliminated vision by closing the eyes, 
and the only reliable balance sy sensory system for balance and postural control right now is her vestibular system. So she has to rely on that to know what upright is. Open. So we do expect a little bit more sway on this one. That's normal. All right, same thing again. Close your eyes and testing. Nice. Open. All right. Get ready. Close your eyes. And testing. One more just like that. Okay. She's, this, she's actually doing very, very well on this test. The gray area you see, you might see over here on the computer, means the abnormal range. And she's way up above that in the abnormal range. The green lines represent good performance. And open. Looking good. All right, the last can test on this one, last condition. Um, you keep your eyes open, but this time the walls and the floor both might move. So your job is to stay steady when things are moving around you. Get ready. And testing now. So you can see that as she sways, the walls and the floor will sway with her, which make visual information and somatosensory information from the floor unreliable for balance. So again, the inner ear or the vestibular apparatus is the only accurate sensory cue she's getting. Nice. OK, get your bearings. Take a breath. And get ready. we got two more just like that. Testing now. Looks good. All right, you got one more just like that. Get ready and testing. Now, she's doing very, very well when the walls are moving. There's a lot of people that get tested in this system that don't do well. They trust vision so much that they sway with the walls. They don't realize that the walls are moving around them. So they're going to lose the balance or fall during those conditions. So this one really focuses on the vestibular system as well. All right, so you can relax and breathe for just a second, and I'll focus on this for just a minute. We'll take a brief look at the results. Um, we have a composite score, which is an average score of all six trials, all three conditions of each trial. She's well within the normative range. She's her, her stability bar is green, and it's all very close to the 100% stability up here as far as her equilibrium score. So this is a very, very good test. This um, score that we got is um, based on normative data for people of her same height and age. So she's falling into a category of, of normative data for her height and age.